We've got big love for The Guardian here. It's easily the most interesting and convenient non-tabloid newspaper to read if you've got short arms. But apps are killing the need for long arms stone dead in the newspaper world. Although, prepare yourself, The Guardian app does require a subscription. Finish throwing up your hands in dismay? You can officially chill out, as it's a very reasonable $2.99 for six months or $3.99 for a year. Mega reasonable, I reckon, particularly when I tell you everything it can do. It can personalise the front page so you get the sections you're interested in thrown in front of your eyes first. It'll let you search for particular terms in stories. It can show you what's trending. It will let you favourite particular writers for easy access. And it can send you goal alerts for user-defined sporting teams. You can even define sections to get downloaded for offline reading. Could this be the best value newspaper app out there so far? I say unequivocally yes. There is no time to waste. Download it and become instantly more attractive now. Have you heard? There's something better and freer than Angry Birds. So says the internet and the internet only ever speaks fact. It's designed by a 14-year-old boy and has leapt straight to the top five free apps in the Android and iTunes store. But what does it do? Bubble Ball is a physics-based game which is totally du jour at the moment and involves getting a ball to a flag. You can use various items to help it on its way and even have a little play with gravity. I feel mean saying this about a 14-year-old's masterpiece, but the graphics won't blow you away. Still, it's a far cry from spending your life taping the top 40 off the radio for mixtapes, which is what I spent most of my teenage years doing. Purists will hate the fact that you can choose which level to play without completing previous ones. And stupid people might hate the fact that you do have to have a basic grasp of physics. So to summarise, it's good, but not for everyone. Fat fingered friends, have we found an Android app for you? Thick Buttons is a keyboard alternative which tries to mutate itself by second-guessing you. In other words, it predicts what letter you're going to go for next using its dictionary and enlarges the relevant keys appropriately. It's pretty fast and seems to be fairly accurate. You can also set it to learn your own personal word faves, such as words like faves, to further increase the accuracy. It's marvellous because it's free, and combined with the swipe Android keyboard option should mean there's no excuse for poor typing by anyone Android related. Twitter. Could it be the noisiest place on the internet? With so many links flying around to so many corners of the web, you'd be forgiven for missing stuff. But if you've cultivated a community of friends who generally only share awesome stuff, it's worth finding an app to curate that stuff for you. Enter TweetMag. For £2.99, this iPad app will create a magazine of the links featuring in your timeline, much like Flipboard or Pulse, but just for Twitter. You can save interesting stuff to read later to Instapaper and choose whether to see the articles in a simple text view or as full articles. Interestingly, there's also a setting called Give and Take Computing, which means when the apps open, you'll help process articles for other users, and they'll do the same in return. The result? Faster loading for everyone. If your Twitter feed becomes boring, you can check out the top stories. Alternatively, there's a rather complicated categories option, which involves choosing a category, then a relevant tweeter or list, after which the app builds the page from there. It's a pretty slick app, although at present a little slow to load. And it depends on the quality of your Twitter mates. Luckily, mine are all brill, so my mag looks great. Thanks, Twitter. As if paying ever-increasing petrol prices wasn't enough, there's always the nagging thought that somewhere nearby, but unknown to you, there's fuel available for less. Real pence-less in some cases. Petrol Prices Pro lets you avoid this anxiety by telling you not only where the nearest petrol stations are, but also how much they cost. You can pick how far you're prepared to travel from your chosen spot and see at a glance the highest and lowest prices in your area. The highest presumably being listed so you can feel smug which is worth the £2.99 per year price tag alone. 
Add in a map view of prices nearby and a database of over 11,000 petrol stations updated daily and this is one app that will pay for itself in no time at all. Want more? Go to www.fraculus.com forward slash follow for a glut of RSSE, iTunesy, podcasty, subscription-y options.